Elon Musk is an increasingly divisive figure on social media. Some argue he heavily and illegally interfered with the US election, and some claim Tesla's recent product reveals amount to vaporware. Others see him as an engineering genius who is driving the next wave of innovation in multiple industries. One thing that is indisputable, however, is the incredible list of accomplishments of his space venture, SpaceX. On October the 13th, the world watched as SpaceX launched the world's most powerful rocket, Starship, took to the sky for the fifth time. Just a few minutes later, the company achieved arguably the most impressive feat of engineering in history. Roughly seven minutes after launch, Starship's first stage booster, Super Heavy, descended back to Earth. The enormous rocket booster, as tall as a 20-story building, left a trail of condensation in its wake during the dramatic descent. Before it could smash into the ground, three of the booster's 33 Raptor engines roared to life to initiate a descent burn. The Super Heavy booster then performed an incredibly precise hovering maneuver to descend into the chopstick arms of SpaceX's Mechazilla launch tower. Spectators gasped as the rocket came to a standstill. Once the booster's fiery plume had dissipated, showing the rocket and Mechazilla launch tower were still intact, they burst into cheers and applause. But why catch a rocket in the first place? The maneuver wasn't performed purely for dramatic effect, and it serves as an important function that could help SpaceX to eventually send dozens of Starship rockets beyond Earth. Elon Musk himself proposed the rocket catch idea several years ago, and it is all down to mass. Rocket mass is one of the most important factors in rocketry. It determines the rocket's ability to get to space, as well as the amount of payload it can send to orbit. In the case of Starship, catching the rocket out of the sky allowed the engineers to remove one key component, Super Heavy's landing legs. Those landing legs would weigh several tons, so removing them allows Starship to carry more payload into space. As a point of reference, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket features landing legs that make up roughly 8% of the rocket's total weight. At 397 feet or 121 meters tall, Starship is a much larger rocket and would therefore require incredibly sturdy and heavy landing legs. It might also require more than Falcon 9's four landing legs to hold Super Heavy's weight during a landing maneuver. Catching Starship out of the sky is also part of Elon Musk's plans for rapid Starship turnaround times in the future. If the booster is already in Mechazilla's mechanical grasp, the robotic chopstick arms can quickly position the booster back onto the launch mount. From there, it can quickly be inspected and refueled for another launch. In a tweet shortly after SpaceX's booster catch, Elon Musk said Starship is designed to achieve reflight of its rocket booster, ultimately within an hour after liftoff. The booster returns within about five minutes, so the remaining time is reloading propellant and placing a ship on top of the booster. Before SpaceX successfully caught the Super Heavy booster out of the sky, even Elon Musk acknowledged how crazy the plan was. In a 2021 interview with YouTuber Everyday Astronaut, the SpaceX CEO said, I know it sounds insane. When I suggested that, people thought I lost my mind. Maybe I have. It might take a few kicks at the can, but we'll get it right. Fast forward to October 2024, and impressively, it only took SpaceX one try to successfully catch Super Heavy out of the sky. To some, it still felt crazy and surreal even after the fact. Shortly after the booster catch, former SpaceX lead engineer Thomas Muller took to X and wrote, Epic moment. I remember the meeting where Elon said, we're not gonna have landing legs, we're gonna catch the booster in the air. And we were all like, what? 
These incredible moments are partly down to SpaceX's fail-fast, learn-fast approach. The company takes risks, knowing it has several Starship prototypes waiting in the wings. Before an upcoming launch, SpaceX has often already conducted static fiber tests on the upper stages and boosters that will be used for the following flight of Starship. Elon Musk has famously been quoted as saying, failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. And what's next for SpaceX and Starship? Elon Musk recently took to his social media platform to say SpaceX will catch the upper stage and will one day carry cargo and crew as soon as early 2025. Though catching Super Heavy on the first try was an incredible achievement, it is in line with SpaceX's amazing achievements of the past. SpaceX is the only company in the world to have a successful, reusable rocket booster program with its workhorse Falcon 9 rocket. SpaceX has launched countless high-profile missions aboard Falcon 9, including the Crew ISS missions for NASA and the first private spacewalk in history with Polaris Dawn. Falcon 9 has a prolific track record, with more than 350 successful launches and landings to date. And the Starship rocket capture and the Mechazilla chopstick arms are just one of the many innovations of SpaceX's Starship program. Once operational, Starship will be the first fully reusable rocket in the world. The rocket's 33 next-generation Raptor engines on Super Heavy produce 17 million pounds of thrust at launch, making it by far the world's most powerful rocket. During the last three Starship flight tests, a Starlink terminal has allowed SpaceX to stream stunning footage of the Starship upper stage re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Other impressive features on Starship include the vented interstage that allows the rocket to perform a hot stage separation after launch. Hot staging sees the upper stage start to fire its engines slowly before separation. The vented interstage allows the rocket plume to exit through vents, preventing it from breaking the rocket apart. This allows the upper stage to build up enough momentum to keep a nominal trajectory. After separation, the Super Heavy booster descends back to Earth and the Starship upper stage continues on its way. The Starship Human Landing System, or HLS, will also utilize the rocket's impressive size to act as a base for future astronauts on the Moon. Future NASA Artemis astronauts will launch to space aboard an Orion capsule atop NASA's Space Launch System, the second most powerful rocket in history after Starship. Once the astronauts reach lunar orbit, they will then transfer across to Starship HLS and descend to the Moon. That's why, besides the upcoming Starship upper stage catch, in-orbit refueling tests are arguably the most important upcoming milestones for SpaceX. They will show that Starship can launch to orbit, refuel, and then travel to the moon with enough fuel to land and launch back off the lunar surface. Effectively, they will determine whether NASA can take humans back to the moon for the first time since Apollo 17 in 1972. The lunar landing will be a historic upcoming milestone for SpaceX and NASA. However, SpaceX's ambitious plans don't end there. In September, Musk posted on X that SpaceX aims to fly Starship to Mars in two years to coincide with the opening of the next Earth-Mars transfer window. That launch will be uncrewed so SpaceX can test Starship's landing capabilities on the Red Planet. Landing on Mars is notoriously difficult due to the planet's thin atmosphere creating less friction to slow down a spacecraft. According to Musk, if those landings go well, the first crewed flights to Mars will launch in four years. The launch rate of Mars-bound starships will grow exponentially from there, Musk continued. And the goal will be to build a self-sustaining city in about 20 years. All of this is, of course, part of Musk's plan to make humanity a spacefaring civilization. 
Musk is, of course, known to have provided incredibly ambitious timelines and promises regarding his company's products in the past. Most of those promises haven't come true. The SpaceX and Tesla CEO, for example, once claimed that Tesla vehicles would have level 5 autonomy, meaning no human intervention required by 2021. However, several of Musk's promises have come true to spectacular effect. SpaceX's Starship rocket booster catch is a perfect example of the latter. It adds to a long list of incredible achievements by SpaceX. It's the type of event that inspires countless people to innovate and dream of the stars. The company has faced scrutiny in recent months as delays in Starship's development have forced NASA to move back the Artemis III lunar landing to no earlier than September 2026. Things seem to be back on track now, and we can expect the launch cadence of Starship flight tests to ramp up as the company looks to finish developing the capabilities to fly to the Moon and Mars. It won't be long before we're talking about SpaceX and Starship's next impressive milestone achievement. Watch this space. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest content. And while you're here, why not check out another one of our exciting videos? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.